folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard Margu Tri Generational Campaign. Always a hoot, always a pleasure, and always chaotic. Uh, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, hang on to your ass. This is a mature audiences only, but we do go PG 13 because we got a couple youngins with us. Uh, <clears throat> these guys are an entire family. They've been playing DD, some of them. Uh, Frank Senior, you've been playing 122 years, haven't you? Something like that. Pretty, pretty near half that anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit with us about D&D. &D, join our Discord if you want to buy crap. Uh, we got that too. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us either on a one shot next Saturday or Tuesday on the talk show, M Hobo Inc, Gmail or Twitter, uh, hit us up. We will get you on. Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for giving Man Fang some dice that may or may not save him. We aren't really sure. We we will let the dice decide. Also, if your game stinks, this game does not. But if yours does, Adventure Sense from OddFishGames.com. Make your game smell a whole lot better, even if your players stink at it. Uh, if you're interested in writing, the shine system. Uh, so you like to smell your sack. for you too. This yeah, is the Margu like campaign. <laughs> Let's go ahead and introduce. <laughs> you can't say. Uh, yeah, you can't. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and introduce the cast who's going to entertain you for the next couple hours. <laughs> we will start with uh, the well dressed druid, Frank Sr. Tell us about yourself. I am the uh, Frank Sr., the very well dressed druid. <laughs> and uh, I love my wizard's tower sense because it smells old <laughs> yeah it smells like the old pipe tobacco <laughs> kind of smells like that old uh flying dutchman that i knew in my my ute nice now these guys these guys all got their cap shirts finally it took a while ups well USPS, you're doing some it. of us are displaying said cash shirts well the, the, i think the deal was if you wore it you got to keep your zonky yep <laughs> Felix, how you doing today? <laughs> Not so good. Sad. <laughs> we'll let him keep Buttercup because his whining would just drive us all nuts. AJ, who are you? Who do you play? I am AJ, and I'm <laughs> playing Felix the Great. And Felix uh, was woken up in the middle of the night with a little ditty in his head going, Here comes the king, here comes the king, here comes the great number one. <laughs> Uh, so he's a little on edge today this morning you, you, you're just you're just poking frank is what you're doing oh, yeah. uh jason you're up next who are you who are you playing i am cookie <laughs> bull bitters the third the king of the beers the great number one yeah totally number one, one bull bitters um <clears throat> gnomish gnomish witch and the moral compass of the group yeah. We'll, we'll Who doesn't that. have a shirt on? I don't have, have a shirt, shirt on there. Hey, PG thirteen. Can I say shit? It's yeah, you can say shit. Okay, shit. just can't drop the f bomb. Only once <laughs> per game. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the f bomb in front of the kids, maybe not. But uh, okay, Twitch doesn't care if you do because we've already warned you twice. If you're watching this show, uh, next up is uh, we'll we'll say middle Frank because he and I are in the middle of the other two. Uh, Frank, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, I'm the middle Frank, one of the uh, better Franks, but we won't go that far. I'm uh, smelling my magic shop sense. I have renamed it to uh, Senior Brothel House Smell. It is. It smells like an old whore. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> Felix I play, a uh, I play uh, Robert of Zeppelin, or Robert the Flaming Chest Hole. I see that. Very nice. Now people uh, start poking your chest hole. Uh, and <laughs> you know, that brings us to Little Frank with new dice. We'll see how those work, or he'll just be cursed for life. Well, I'm pretty sure I am cursed for life using anything other than these die. So thank you for the die, though. They're very nice. I am Manfrank, the now well-endowed. I can say that now. <laughs> see, I can say that now. See? I can say that <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna let 
afterwards, you can have a conversation with your grandpa to understand what you're talking about there. You know, I thought it meant something, but now I just don't think I mean anything anymore. It definitely means something. Hey, Frankie. You know what? No, I'm done. I'm done talking today. <laughs> English is my first language. Well, maybe it shouldn't be. Uh, Nicholas, uh, last but not least, Nicholas, uh, I know you give a long dissertation, but I'm always interested in hearing it. Who are you? Who do you play? Haggis Craft State. <clears throat> and there you have it, folks. Now, uh, Nick and little Frankie, make sure to wear those shirts proudly to school and show them off to the nuns and uh, always get caught with uh, that dice container that little Frankie has. That plus five decks. We're going to get expelled. Hot cops love that stuff folks this is the margu campaign last uh week uh robert oh, flaming you chest hole was, did you uh, forget it felix no oh, I, I went here comes the king wow well, yeah, <laughs> yeah you know i forgot you already i, oh, I always oh, i always go you. in order on the zoom because i'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing with him <laughs> uh robert was uh supposedly cured of lycanthropy, which he uh, was inflicted Frankie. upon back in the Margu ruins, uh, but at a great cost. He and the party have had to subject themselves to the nuns of the Silver Moon, and they have been geezed, gazed, or quested, however you want to say it, uh, to go to some ruins in the mountains three days away find a very specific jewel that they cannot miss and return it to the sisters uh, three days back. They have been given a gracious 10 days in order to do this. So hopefully they find the ruins rather quickly and don't get lost in the mountains, uh, lest they be punished for their transgressions. Uh, we ended last time with them heading out on the road and they made considerable progress uh, considering what they had to work with. Uh, it was quite close as two members of the party nearly ate it with ghouls, but they have made it to the crossroads uh, after one day of travel and zero entanglements. Uh, as you begin the morning now, who wants to D12 against me? I think he does. Roll that new dice, Frankie. That's what he's doing. The six. Close. Close. Uh, it's overcast. No rain. Uh, if you would have rolled worse, it would have been pouring rain. You guys are headed on the road. Uh, you're pretty sure you're going that way towards the ocean, which probably still exists. Maybe, most likely not. Uh, after an hour's worth of travel you guys notice some individuals along the side of the road. Somebody else D12 against me, and we'll see uh, which kind of contact this is going to be. You won. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you guys see some halflings with uh, some We should just instantly kill them. Should I start shooting? <clears throat> they see your approach and hail you graciously. Hello, fellow travelers. How are you? Are they wearing red vests? Uh, they are not wearing red vests. Can I do that? Can, can, can you do the what? Can I do the Queen's Wave? Sure. Then I will. Uh, they are dressed like the Partridge family. Everybody has a different color. There are five of them. Uh, the bus. I'm yep. grabbing my I'm grabbing my chain sack right now, I can tell you that much. <laughs> chain sack? <laughs> Change. 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 Oh, change. How old are they? Uh, well, one is an elder statesman. Uh, three are middle age, and the other is a uh, adolescent. Looks like. So funny. Kind of like you guys, minus one. That's how I wake my kids up in the morning playing Partridge Family. You woke us up one day like that. Wait. Why not? Yeah. Uh, they hail you. The elder statesman hails you. He has a harp in his hand. Hello, welcome from the Amigo family. How art thou today, fellow travelers? We be fine. Hello, <laughs> it's be you. The elder man looks at the middle-aged ones and says, 
This one, it may be deep, so we should talk louder. Bless you. Um, the older man says, we are fine. How are you? Uh, enunciating greatly. <laughs> it, it, fr from old halfling, sort of how halflings speak from my culture, do they seem a little more high society than what I'm used to? Or are they just acting like a normal halfling? What do you mean? Like the dregs of society? Is that what you are? Scumbags. <laughs> Scumbag Steve. Uh, give me an insight check, Haggis. That's a good question. Thank you. Natural 20. Uh, clearly, uh, from their apparel, uh, their instruments, these are bardic individuals. These are traveling minstrels, clear as the day is, even though it's overcast. Uh, so, the High Priestess of the blesseth you on your journey! That's very loud. Two of the uh, middle-aged ones go, he is hard of hearing, and he's but ugly. <laughs> Assuming that you cannot hear what they're saying. Uh, that garners a laugh from the other adolescent. It goes, eh. And he smells. <laughs> I got washed. I don't stink. I'm going to uh, ask him. I'm going to tell him we're on a journey. Oh, we're on a mission from Gad. Are you going to Raglan as well? Headed that way. Where we're really headed to is the ruins. Are you aware of them? <clears throat> Never heard of them. We are headed towards uh, Raglan because there is a mighty festival there, and we plan on winning the prize. Last year, it was won by another family, but this year, we believe we can beat the Von Traps. <laughs> <laughs> What's the game? Oh, it is uh, a musical contest. Musical festival. Guys, I think we should sign up for that. We are the Brady of Zen Brunch. Uh, hell, I am a partridge at best. I'm no Brady. This one's name is Cindy. Hey, we do kind of. Copious below, Brady. we call Greg. <laughs> and you must be Marsha. Marsha, 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 listen to me both. Copious is greeted with uh, a certain amount of respect, being a short person. Uh, Cindy has a two. <laughs> So I think I've inherited Manfang's dice today. Uh, they don't like Manfang because he's tall, scaly, and scarred. They don't like me either. <laughs> Hello! Uh, they appreciate Haggis. They appreciate Copious. Uh, Felix. Yeah, he's okay. And Hail Leaf. Death, yeah. Leaf. Uh, they can recognize him as a man of nature, and they truly appreciate him with a 17. Nice. So... Uh, these ruins you speak of, uh, where are they supposed to be? North. To the north, past Regulant. Um, you're traveling west. Yeah, we're heading west to Smidge. Uh, whatever. North of Raglan. Smidge's Roadhouse. We're going oh. past, uh, we're going one hex past, <laughs> I love <it. laughs> one hex past Smidge's Roadhouse. Oh, is that uh, where we're headed? I, in I one hex know. north, yes. Oh, I make doing sure, something else when you had to map up. Uh, make sure that you try their barbecue. It is to die for. I hear uh, the Zonkies quite good at the bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're headed to Smidges. My uh, my party is is that what is that what those creatures are called? Zonkies? Yes. Yes. Uh, I hope they're not pointing to me. They are actually pointing at Buttercup. Buttercup. Agus's. Uh, Zonky. It's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> the older halfling says, I don't know. Uh, we don't have a lot of coin. How you know, well, that's how much it's worth, live coin. So if you don't have it, then you don't have it. Your, your <laughs> reputation is starting to waver. <laughs> 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 but your... Uh, 
deep friend of there just pointed out that it was for sale. He's our deep and dumb friend. (laughs) Would you like blessings upon your travels? And smelly. (laughs) I'm going to walk over to the youngest. Place my pan up on the back of his head. He cast a light spell. Just touch his lower neck. We're trying to take him. He was at the monastery, and we're trying to take him on a a path to find some more medicine, hoping to cure his insanity. Hmm. Interesting. Would you guys like the blessing of the Bardic family of uh, the Amigos? We we would certainly like. How long would it take? Shouldn't take more than a minute. La 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 la. Plink plink. Uh, everybody feels Ooh, I rolled shitty. Cheery. Uh, I, I I broke a string on my performance. Wow. I, th- trust me, it will not affect their outlook on you at all. <laughs> you know, that ship has sailed, been destroyed by Lear, and inhabited by sea urchins. On I'm ready to bless the youngest child. Uh, please don't touch my child. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'm, going the, I'm going to tell the Amigo family, listen, the, 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 the guards have said he's not allowed within 100 feet of children, so if you could, we, we need to keep moving down the road. Sure, not a problem. Good luck. Perhaps we will see you at Raglan after you find whatever it is you seek. And Good luck at the them, contest. Thank you. If you see the Von Tramps on your travels, we'll tell kill them. them. You're welcome. <laughs> well, don't kill them. Uh, we like good natured competition, but wink, wink. We'll, we'll give them all colds. Uh, they st- or don't kill them. I'm, I'm a little confused. Break their kneecaps or don't break their kneecaps. Well, you got to break their wrists so they can't play. <laughs> uh, that costs a donation for the church of God. Breaking up the wrist is I'm only so five gold. Yes, yes. I, I, I think he's pretty stupid. So, hey, get, give him those wooden nickels. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> wooden nickels? Uh, no, they look, they look like copper. But they, 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 <laughs> feel, <laughs> they, they feel like you need an insight check. <laughs> Did we just get slugs from the, the Amigo family? Uh, we didn't, but Robert 19. Did. You know what? They must be magic because they're really light. <laughs> hey, Robert's suggestion, don't give those as an offering to a god. Hey, Robert, who goes to the next god you come up with? <laughs> Lear would like them. Uh, so what, I, what, I'm saying, what I'm getting here is, is, is their donation was a, a, a joke upon my god. No. <laughs> Are we sure? Because this feels very light. insulting to me, and yeah. there's witnesses around. Our, 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 god, on the road. <laughs> our, our god is the god of air. That is why that seems so light. Uh huh. That is a natural 19 on deception. Ah, that shit seems real, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck storming the the ruins, boys. Uh, and they seem to be setting up. Uh, yeah, did you drop yeah. putrid sewer? No, why? Because there's putrid sewer in this room somewhere. <laughs> <gasps> I, that wasn't me. I think the cat might have used the litter box somewhere. You really gonna have to say it out loud? Even though the cat did it, it wasn't even me. Well, uh, you never know. He's been gassy. Oh God. Some, yeah. some of his friends might watch this and just call him Putrid Sewer. Putrid Sewer. <laughs> Here on out. Uh, oh, Riley, tell him to watch. As oh. you head on down the road, uh, everybody give me a perception check. Please. Can we go ahead and role play for future psychotherapy sessions? Sure. Have you, have you seen Central Intelligence with The Rock? 17. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I'm seeing. 23. 20. What was the roll for again? Perception. perception. Three, three winners already. 24. 16 for myself. And 11 for Frankie. Five winners. Uh, That's not too bad. You you see something unusual 
uh, down in a gully. It looks like avian life, more uh, descriptive. It looks like a Rhode Island red chicken. Uh, and it seems to be a little, uh, I, I don't know, what's a group of chickens called? A flock. Ox. Okay. It's Ox. that. Uh, and, there are, and there are three of them. Uh, a but, group of chickens that's called a salon. A salon of chickens. Uh, <laughs> so these chickens are pecking at something all but man fang because his roll is too low. Notice that these are chickens of unusual size. Oh, it's a big chicken. We're going to pick it up. I'm, I'm, shoot, I'm, I'm shooting my uh, crossbow then. Robert, listen. If if they start to run, can you set a bonfire off underneath them? We'll get roast chicken like that. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, everybody give me insight check. <laughs> Damn. My insight is three. 27. 13. Three. 19. Uh, uh, no. What? Five. Oh, it's under eyes. 14. Oh, it's plus four. Dirty 20. Nice. Uh, Robert, Man, Fang, and Leaf. These damn things are almost big enough to ride. <gasps> I'll have one. You know what? Wait. Maybe we should uh, try to lasso one of these puppies. Wait. First, we got to get a corralling going. So somebody go on one side of the ditch, somebody else on the other side, and we'll do some rope work here. I'll go on one side. Wait, so there's four of us on donkeys, right? So the four of us on donkeys, we can try to flank these suckers. Is, is the ground, does it go off to the sides or is it woodland? It's a small bowl. I, I right. it off. We can kind of go off to the side without spooking the chickens. Just a uh, man thing riding a chicken is worth this entire episode. Oh, um, God, yeah. I want to see. Somebody need to draw a picture of that shit. Uh, I drew a picture for Frankie already this weekend. That's enough. Um <laughs> So why don't two of us go on one side, the other, okay. the other two on the other side, and uh, we'll let Robert and Manfang do the lassoing in the middle. We'll just keep hemming in the, the chickens or try to with the zonkeys. Okay. Who wants to lead this attack? And FYI, I think you're thinking of this. <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I, I wanted it to be like this. I'm thinking it's. Like <laughs> yeah. God, I was getting that. foghorn leghorn. Exactly. I say, boy. It was about as sharp as a bowling ball. So, uh, Copious, uh, what were you saying? Did you want to lead this excursion into the bowl, or because because you guys want to circle around them, right? Yeah, that's the that's the goal. But I'm I'm thinking we need somebody with a high wisdom to lead this effort, since they would have the best animal handling and could help direct the traffic here. Uh, that is not me. No, you and you and Manfang are going to go at them to try to capture them. The four of us on donkeys are going to keep them corralled on the road. I'll lead it. We're using dexterity and strength. Oh, that won't find. <clears throat> okay, so uh, you're you you're splitting up two and two, and then they're going in after. Yes. Okay. So Felix has so chosen to do the five wisdom five. roll because no, the I, druid's I, I, wisdom is too low, I guess. Okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> muted, so he didn't volunteer. That's, no, that's true. true. <laughs> Took too long. My, my wisdom's 20. Uh, well, Felix. Took, haven't Felix, rolled it yet. Hey, roll it. I don't give a shit. You and Buttercup, uh, flank him. Give me your wisdom. He rolled one. One. <laughs> one. Wow. Roll a d6. Ooh. That's... Buttercup's rolling away. One. One of them uh, gets past him. That leaves two in the gully. Uh, now they're freaking out like chickens with their heads still attached. Uh, who is on the... Who is with Felix, and who are the other two on the other side? I, I, I'm with Leaf. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, no, I, I guess I'm... He should be running this show. <laughs> My hands are so, Haggis, under your head. Uh, you guys swoop in, but the chicken cuts in between you. You may stay the course, be the wingman, don't you leave me, Goose, uh, or you can go after the chicken uh, that is running. 
Meanwhile, Robert and Manfang charge into the gully. Now all hell's breaking loose. <laughs> Copious and Leaf are on the high ridge to the right, trying to move in. Uh, number one, odd even. Or you know what? I need a D4. Uh, the one left heads two. So it's going to head towards Copious and Leaf. The other one in the gully heads to the right as well. So Copious and Leaf, you have two going at you. Haggis. The question for you is, go after the one that took off or stay the course and uh, keep them hemmed in? Get the chicken. Um, get the chicken. I think I should I should get out, go after the chicken. Yeah. yeah get that get KFC bucket, buddy. Now, I could I could um, take my rope and sort of lasso its neck, maybe. It'd lasso it down, maybe. Possibly. Now, uh, the zonky was... would be stronger than a... Hey, that thing looked pretty big. Uh, <laughs> and chickens looks... fly... Uh, they can fly short bursts. If they have maybe. a running start, oh, maybe yeah, they. If they have a running start, like off a cliff, they can, they can, it's can those stirrups you gotta watch out for. I'm gonna so, keep my mouth shut, not give the DM ideas. <laughs> so, Felix the Wise, uh, are you gonna go after the one that escaped, or are you gonna stay the course and keep hemming them in? Oh, I'm gonna stay the course and keep scaring them out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charm them. Charm okay. the chickens or charm Felix? The chickens. Uh, how, how many charms do you get? Two. Okay, fair enough. What do I need to roll? Actually, I can charm three. Hang on a minute. Yeah, it's what's hit. Yeah, I cast it at level three. It's um, one for each level above. So. What's the distance, though? Because the one on... 30 the, feet. Yeah, the, the one that uh, Felix left the big opening for is already on the ridge. But the other right. two are coming right at you, so they are in prime All right, I'll, I'll cast. I'll charm them. <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't. I can't see where I have to roll anything. Does either one of them have an intelligence above four? I would say probably not. <laughs> I let me see what a bison is because I think I got one of those in my list. Wild bison, uh, intelligence of two. So no. They, okay. they would not be eligible for a saving throw. Uh, so you want to charm the two that you can. Yes. Okay. Uh, they will be charmed until such time as you are well aware of. They're charmed for 24 <laughs> hours long. Nobody hurts them. I'm telling you guys this. These things are charmed for 24 hours. But if you do them any harm at all, it's done. The charm's off. The deal's it? off. So the best thing we can do at this point, let's get them, let's get them, <laughs> get them, uh, 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 you know, get a holder on them. Damn it, Lee. Couldn't you have waited until Manfang tackled one of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I tackled one and accidentally killed it. Man, uh, it, this could be your ride. You won't have to walk anymore as long as you're careful. Yeah, I'll ride it. Don't, Just don't hurt it. it. Um, <laughs> So, uh, Leaf uses his druidic powers to go ahead and charm the two creatures, uh, Kentucky and Fried, or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> Popeye maybe, Kentucky and Popeye. Yeah, um, and Leghorn. And, and they just are entranced. Uh, Robert and Manfang, you see them stop dead in their tracks as Copious and Leaf are far too formidable for them to escape. And they just seem to be awestruck. Now, Felix, you said you were going to continue to hem them in, right? Yeah. You come charging up from behind as well. So Robert and Manfang, Leaf yells out, don't hurt him. You'll break the spell. What do you want to do? I'm going to punch the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> don't say that. You're at an age now where you don't get away with that shit. <laughs> all right. You'll right. make your roll. You right. you scare them off, and the uh, Robert's liable to be riding your ass. And uh, can I can I lightly hug them and like yeah he sure. can hug whatever he wants. I'm putting a rope around mine. I will lightly fair enough get a hold on it. Uh, uh, what what who is it that holds him and pets him? Uh, Lenny. 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 I pet the uh, chickens, George. Uh, Let me pet the chickens. Uh, man Fang strokes his, Robert uh, <laughs> quickly lassos his. Uh, sure hey, is, it, is it a male chicken? Is it a male chicken? It's That's a, what you got to roll for next. Oh, <laughs> is now your chicken you down? Do. 
you got to lift the tail and you take so, this finger. So you got to blow. You got to blow first. That's Robert, how you check. You roll odd male, even female. Female. Think or odd. It's odd, so it's female, right? No, it's female. Think of the size of the eggs for these. I'm going to sleep. We have breakfast every day. Now, man thing, your turn. Mine is also a female. He rolled an odd. Eggs, big eggs, like ostrich size eggs. Oh, that's that, 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 that's, that's about the size. Up. Now, what we got to do is capture the other one. Yeah. Now, these the things are about five slower uh, than your zonkeys, because, of course, the zonkey is the finest steed in the land. Uh, so, these chickens, which are really cool, uh, are, are a little slower, but, but intimidating. Now, Haggis has opted to take off around the rim, chasing down the chicken. Haggis, first off, D12 against me to see how this is going to go. Okay. Ten. One. Uh, okay. Uh, it's headed for a small copse of trees, uh, but you are on a zonkey, the finest steed in the land, and your diminutive frame is not inhibiting its great speed. So you are closing. So, you mentioned you wanted to lasso it. Well, if I could use my <laughs> power of dexterity in some sort of way to... Whoa! That's going to turn To forward. mount it? Yeah. I could charm it. I, I, have, a, I, could, I have a charm. We you slept when we were at that tower. So um, I mean, monastery. So we could... Okay. I could charm it. Sure. Uh, do you have charm monster or, or charm animal? Charm person's not person. gonna work. Yeah, charm person won't work on it. It's not a person. Okay, then I guess we're gonna last of this thing. Okay, there, uh, Wild Bill. Uh, you whip out your rope. Whew, whew. Give me that dexterity. Dexterity. Twenty-three. <laughs> Ooh. Dexterity. Uh, do you want the head or the legs? Um, you know what? Roll for it. Odd head, even legs, because it will make a difference. I'll take a drumstick. Thirteen. Thirteen? Uh, odd. So you lasso the head. It yanks, so give me a strength save. Oh. Make sure you don't step the neck. <laughs> Please botch this. Twelve? <laughs> okay. Uh, you hold firm, dig in your heels on your zonkey, Pull back, uh, a loud squawk and feathers go flying in the air. But you, sir, you have a giant chicken. Now, roll odd or even. 17. Odd. Three females. I wonder if that means males are around. Because they can. <laughs> we should, we should uh, take it and run. So, so we need to keep an eye out for a giant cock then. Pretty much. Taking and four I advantage. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling if we run into this group. Or not, <laughs> like one <laughs> giant temptation for the last 20 minutes, isn't it? That's why I threw it in there. <laughs> I just, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to toss it out there and let's see who bites on the bait first. Uh, so everybody in the Vale or the Valley or the Depression Hears a god awful squawking, uh, and maybe sees a few feathers rise. Uh, the two charmed birds, uh, still just enamored with the leaf. Uh, you look around and you notice that none of you see Haggis. I said, Has anybody seen Haggis? I'm I just wonder <laughs> if the two chickens have an unnatural attraction to leaf. Wait, so leaf can turn into a chicken, like their size, if you want. That was to. the other shoe I was waiting to drop. <laughs> hey, 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 we have three females. What hey, happens hey, in the hey. coop stays in the coop. You could be what a giant hell? rooster, and then they would totally follow you, because you'd be the rooster for the You know, that's true. There's uh, starting to become a theme here about leaf and animals, and I don't know <laughs> how much I like it anymore. <laughs> hey, why do you think I took the druid? Smart woman. <laughs> Let the record show I merely laid it out there on the table. I did not force anyone to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're you're just the guy who throws the coke on the table in front of the crackheads. 
Exactly. That's right. Temptress, That's, I say. I, I, Temptress. So Kofi's yep. going to say, hey, did anybody hear a chicken just get squat? Squat. Yeah, up on the ridge. Now, the bad news is everybody roll perception, including Haggis. Dirty 20. 20. Dirty 20. 20. 14. Again? 25. Man, man fang? 14. Oh. Not bad. Uh, all of you, all of you hear a growl, and that growl, one, is up on the ridge. Two through four, is coming over the ridge. Uno, uh, Haggis, there be wolves coming at you. Because <laughs> huh. you've got dinner. That's true. I think you better start. How many wolves? Three? Three. And they're big wolves. Uh, One might we say could say dire uh, wolves. Imagine like that fur coat we could have right now. And, and how far away is the ridge from them, if I could? Well, you're tell. on the ridge. You're you're up on the ridge. Everybody else is down in the depression. Uh, they are going to be 80 feet away. So okay. you might be able to make a break for it with the chicken in tow into the depression or head back to the road and make a run for it. I'll, I'll take the chicken with me down to the depression. I okay. Uh, let's see. Their wisdom is 12. They are going to bisect the angle and go in attack mode. Everybody sees three dire wolves come up over the ridge. They also see uh, Haggis slowed because he's hauling a giant chicken, uh, so he cannot make full use of his his mount's impressive speed. Uh, and it looks like uh, the wolves are going to get to him before he gets to you, unless you move to him and move to intercept as well. So I'll take initiative from everybody. <laughs> Um, 16, Kofi. That is an 18. 10. I know. 15. 16. I uh, didn't catch Felix. 6. <laughs> How do you like my bad rolls? Yeah. Way not to wear the shirt there, Felix. I don't have the shirt yet. I got the shirt and the dot. Expecting an extra one. Uh, we will start with uh, the 18. Uh, that is one, two, three. That is copious, correct? No, I had 16. That's Frankie. I know I it blows your mind, but Manfang rolled that 18. Okay, I got him in the reverse order. Okay, hey. Uh, you know, pirate dog dies, folks. Hey, what's the distance to Haggis from us? Uh, 80 feet. Now you're going to make me do math. No, it was 80 feet. Uh, I assume you're Hall on the mail, are you not, Haggis? Uh, hump, female. Hump, hump, no, well, no. I'm, Amy's male, going M fast. A I L. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> you're humping. <laughs> you're humping as fast as the chicken will go, right? Yeah. Give me an uh, animal dexterity. Hand, uh, animal handling. Let's see. I don't, if I, I don't I know what I don't know what that means. I don't. No, your animal handling. Role. It's in your skill. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> At this point, three. <laughs> He's dragging the chicken through the dirt. The chicken is dragging you in a zigzag formation because it is smarter than anybody on Game of Thrones. Uh, and it is scared crapless uh, as it knows it's about to become dinner. It is going to veer to the right. Uh, you may follow it or screw it, cut your losses, and let the wolves have it. Do you, you want to bring that dinner back, boy? I'm going to hold on to it. Okay. Uh, everybody Thanks. else sees him kind of breaking away from the wolves. Uh, one, they'll stay on him. Uh, two through four, uh, they'll see twice the feathers. Deuce, they see twice the feathers and they beeline towards the rest of you. Uh, let's start with the 16s. I got two of them. I got Frank, or I'm sorry, I got Robert and Copious. You can't say his name. I don't know where he is. I know, it, it, just blo it just blows the realism out of the fantasy world. I know. What's my distance to the wolves again? 
Uh, it's going to be about 30 feet. They will be in melee uh, range next round. All right. Let's cast a spell. 18 plus, what's my magic now? Oh, uh, where is it? Hell, I don't know. It's up here. Batteries. Spell attack plus three. So 22. Oh, easily. Yeah, yep. dire, dire wolves are 14 to hit. Okay. Now, three die 12. Twenty-seven points of damage. That's impressive. Which is bolt? Uh, how, did you just hit the one? That looks like a pretty cool chicken. I don't know. Can, does it have multiple? Can you spread it? I didn't see where you could spread it. Now I, I think you're only going one. I didn't know if you were oh, send, goodness, sending multiple which is bolts or not. <laughs> yeah, I sent three of them up. So I'll, I'll allow you to split them if you want. Okay. <laughs> Witch's Bolt is an automatic hit next turn, as long as you keep your concentration. Oh, sweet. That's what it does. It says splitting your <clears throat> so, Okay, well, then I'm not going to split. That's 27 to 1. Okay. Uh, that. Uh... And then when the next turn, you just, as long as you keep your concentration, you can keep hitting the same creature. But that's glad you read it better than me. Do. Yeah. Uh, good show. Copious, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, the the one Robert hit is it's it's still standing right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Uh, are, will these wolves be in contact this round with their speed? No, next round they will be in melee combat. And I'm gonna hit the uh, Eldritch blast that the one Robert did. One one blast, uh, both blasted it. So I hit with both. You said 14 was the magic number. Yep. Yep. I hit with both. And you're going after Roberts, right? Same one Robert did, yep. Gotcha. So it was uh, eight points and ten points. So 18. Yep, 18 total. And two uh, it uh, falls face first into the dirt and comes to a rest as it appears to be not moving. Uh, Leaf with a 15, you are up next. And they're, what, 30 feet away? <laughs> Uh, and Copious is going to look at Robert and go, I call the first one. That, I, I, I don't think so. I'll give you the Kill I'll shot. give you the head. Kill shot. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to cast Entangle in front of us. Okay. Now, uh, Charm Person is not concentrate, or Charm Animal is not concentration, correct? No, I don't okay. think so. Hang on, I'll, I'll double check. Just so. I, I, I don't think it is, because that would pretty much yeah, be I don't either. a spell. Um, Mine's tied to me, so I'm getting drug either way. <laughs> I wonder what you guys are going to do with that. It's called animal friendship, is what it's called. Okay, I don't. I do. no, it's not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so you'll be fine. Uh, those two have a good grip on them anyway. Uh, you cast entangle on one or both. <clears throat> well, I don't know how clo how close together are they. Uh, 30, probably separated by five, six feet, so... I'll just cast Entangle right in front of them, slow them down. Fair enough. Is there a save? Um... I think it's a tech save, isn't it? I think it is. Strength saving throw. Oh, or be restrained. Ooh, plus three. Uh, 15 and 16. That's against my spell. My spell yep. DC is 16. So one of them breaks free. The other one does not. One uh, of them is held and the other one's slowed down. Uh, that brings us to the one wolf who can't do anything. Uh, that now takes us to Haggis. As one will close next round, the other one is entangled. Haggis, uh, with that three animal handling, you're getting a little rope burn uh, as this chicken is out of its mind. Give me another animal handling to hang on to that thing. That'd be hard on a dexterity 18. right there. Oh, 18. Oh. Uh, you're going you're gonna to take the blood in the hand. You're going to hang on to it. Whoa, Buttercup Junior. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's still going to keep going, so you're going to have to keep chasing it. Uh, until it perceives danger is out of the way, uh, leading us to number six, Felix. 
Um, so I'm going to shoot an arrow at one of you. Oh, I assume boy. that <laughs> I assume it's not a sneak attack. Uh, what is it to hit him? The one that's entangled is an advantage if you want to. The other one charging is 14. They're both 14. But if you shoot at the entangled one, it's let's shoot one. at the entangled one. Hey, Felix, are you shooting over the heads of the chickens? Yeah, but I'm mounted, so I plus I'm a human, so I'm six feet tall, so I can. No, it, if it's at advantage, ooh, yeah, good thing. Twenty one. <laughs> Twenty one hits the entangled ooh. one for eleven damage. Nicely done. Top of the order, eighteen leads us off. Manfang, uh, are you? astride your new mount or hanging on to it. I assume you used a rope to lash onto it. Yeah. Now, uh, Leaf, this animal friendship, is that going to cause any panic with these creatures? You're muted. Muted, Leaf. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because my, my thought uh, is they're going to be scared. No, it says uh, if you or one of your companions harms it, the spell ends. That is the only caveat to this spell. Uh, and it says, let's. It says if me or one of my friends harms no it. Yeah. yeah, if one of us harms it, yeah. Well, it says one of your friends. I, never yeah, said I don't have any friends. damn friends, so that's not a problem. Right. So we're just. I think the question is are, are the animals right. pacified or are they okay with it? Like they should pet. be. They should be still pacified until they get hurt. They're under my they spell. Giant dire wolves chasing down on them. They're I, not. I, if they don't even see that dire wolf. I, I think when it enters melee, since you guys are in a group, uh, uh, Robert and Manfang will be making some rolls. Uh, but uh, uh, until that, Manfang, uh, are you astride or standing next to your chicken mouth? I will stay with my chicken. Are you going to stay? Are, are you on it? Sure, I'll stay. I'll get on. He's on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to try an attack as you sit astride this brand new mount? How far away are the terrible? Uh One is coming into melee range right now. The other one is entangled and has an arrow in it. I would like to move away a little bit farther away from the one that's coming in melee range and use my bow so I don't hurt the chicken. Animal handling. Attack at disadvantage since you've never shot off the back. Did you ever shoot anything off the back of your zonkey? No. Okay, so animal handling and then at disadvantage. All right, cool. Okay, animal handling. Yeah, it's not bad. But that's bad. He rolled a four. No, I rolled a five. My animal handling, my animal handling is plus one. Uh, now do your disadvantage. Roll again. Make sure it's not a one. No, I'm all right. Same, same freaking number. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let's see. There. You know what? There's three of you, but you each have zonkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Copious, your zonkey nearly bites it. Uh, Manfang, you get flipped backwards. You remain on top of your chicken, but you've lost your bow as the chicken sees what you're shooting at and takes off. So you aren't being drugged by your stirrup yet, but the day ain't over. Uh, now we move to the 16s, Robert and Copious. Copious, your damn zonky nearly got shot. By by man thing, right? Correct. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him and I'm really tempted to shoot one eldritch blast at his chicken and one at the wolf. Matter of fact, man, I'm probably gonna eat. tell him that. And I haven't ruled out throwing a rock at the chicken or something yet. Just a, sure. a animal friendship, my little skinny gnome butt. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to shoot the wolf that's charging at us. Okay. Uh, is 14 the magic number? 14 is the magic number. Okay. Both hit, but barely. Hey, nine. You, you scored more points than the other team. That's still a win. <laughs> yeah. Nine and six. 
So 15 total. 15 damage. Nicely done. Robert, uh, I, are you astride or are you holding on to your... I was holding on and I shot for 30. You are Damn holding it. on if you're shooting. <laughs> no, I cast spell. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Before I do. Two. Four. Uh, no wild magic this time. Uh, <coughs> uh, are you shooting at the entangled or at the one entering the fray? The one entering the fray. Okay. For 30 points. Nicely done. Uh, you will also need to make an animal handling to see how it reacts. One. Yeah. 18. Uh, you managed to maintain a grip on the rope and have the thing secured, although it is a freaking out as the dire wolf uh, takes it in the skull, slides, and whoop, goes right underneath your chicken. Uh, the creature hops a little bit. I'm looking like, over at Copia saying, that one's mine, bitch. Fine. <laughs> like Legolas in the all right there. The rings. Yeah, no, he still only counts as one. Like <laughs> Even if it's pregnant, that still only counts as one. Still only counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> now give me a dexterity save because yeah. the damn wolf slid right underneath your mouth. 20, 30. Easy, easy peasy. Probably the weight <laughs> is keeping the chicken at bay because you are a larger creature. Uh -huh. if, this, if this were Haggis, uh, he'd be flying or copious. Uh, <laughs> from 16s, we go to Leaf. Leaf, the wolf entering the fray, is no more. The wolf still entangled is still a threat because it okay. hasn't gotten to roll Wait. yet. Is that wolf big enough that Manfang can ride the dire wolf? Yeah, he could probably ride it. Manfang, why don't you push your chicken to the dire wolf? Manfang is doing this. What's the name? What's going on? And, and he doesn't have a bow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can yell at him, but Leaf, it's up to you. I'm going to cast the. Um, <laughs> Crap stain's gone. He went up Apparently and over the ledge. Him. <laughs> I'm going to cast a uh, uh, flaming spear. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I can do bonfire too. I ought to just do bonfire. Hook's a dog. They do that in China. I can't find it. One second. Yes. Sir. Now, uh, keep in mind, you're smart enough to realize if you set bonfire, that's going to get rid of that entangle. Pretty quick. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm want, kind of wanting me a dire wolf cape, too. So. Wait, uh, wait, then you got to take care of this one on your own. That's true, because these guys are the Robert, We got them. ours. <clears throat> you got to make the kill shot. Yeah, it's got to be the kill, kill shot. shot. It has to be the kill shot. Doesn't count if it's not. Well, I'm trying shot. to think of how to kill this thing without destroying it. You know, I could use a lightning bolt on it, but I don't think there's going to be much of that wolf left to have to do. Uh -oh. I would guess no. <laughs> hey, hey, Copius only needs about half this thing to make his cape. Or it, it already has one arrow in it. Yeah. How far away is it? Uh, it made it about. Copius, sorry, has the. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. 20. Okay. Zero. Copious sorry, has a hole to put his head through for the cape. Then I'm going to. Oh, large I'm enough gonna, for a raccoon. Oh. I'm gonna move, <laughs> I'm gonna move forward and cast Thunder Wave. Fair enough. Now that your wisdom will also tell you that that will knock it out of its entangle. Yeah, I if know. it if it fails. Yep, not a problem. Uh, Eleven plus is it Dex? Um, constitution plus two or plus two, so thirteen is what it got. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> Uh, so you will thunder wave it uh, out of its element uh, and do how much damage? I got to roll it just a second. Looking for my eights. You better kill it because you know Felix is just aiming to tear Seven, six, up. 13 and eight, 21. That is not going to be enough to kill it. Uh, but it does push it how far back? 30? 
<clears throat> Sorry. Ten feet. Um. And go boom. One to two, it's going to go in full retreat. Three and up right. on the D8. It will attempt to circle. It will not be eligible to attack this round, but it will stay in the fray. Uh, that is a two. It tucks tail and begins to run. Uh, <coughs> and that takes us to the 10. Hagas, give me another animal handling control. Your uh, drumstick's getting out of there. <laughs> <clears throat> 18 uh, your check has uh, been placed in the mail and you now have a secure hold on this chicken who now realizes that there are no other aggressors and it begins to slow trying to pull you and the weight of the donkey <coughs> you now have complete control over your chicken again uh, uh -huh. leading us to Felix the Great I'm going to shoot another arrow. It's a one one right up its coicus. <laughs> and I hit it for seven damage. One kill shot. That brings the total to 39 out of 40 Damn it. points. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the order. Robert, or I'm sorry, Manfang. Uh, oh, Manfang, give me a dexterity. Let's see if you can hang on. And if you do, you'll give me an animal handling to see if you can right the ship. No, I can't hang on. See, it's, not the, it's not the dice. It's, it's the dexterity. Off goes Manfang. Uh, the rope from his chicken is being dragged behind it. Wah, 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 running around. It will be headed towards Haggis Crap Stain, though. Uh, Sixteens. Uh, Robert Copius. First, give me perception checks to see if you notice uh, Cowboy Bob there fell off. 18. No, oh, 22. Both of you notice that Man Fang has been flipped over the side of his chicken and it is running for its life. You also notice that the dire wolf has turned tail and is headed up the incline towards the ridge. I'm looking total, I'm dead, dead eye, you know, instant stare right at Robert. Let's roll initiative, Robert. 20, 30. 16. Robert got the jump on me. What do you want to do, Robert? Robert. Sixteen points of damage. Right I at Wacka. Only had one left, so Hey, you... I think it's to make out. But with sixteen, that seems a little heavy handed. I don't think you're going to be getting that cape, Leaf. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can I have some mittens? Uh, I'll give you a nice uh, necktie. Excuse me. <laughs> no, I think you guys need to make some saddles for them damn chickens. I think I'm the one who got the kill shot. I got a nice fur-lined saddle for my chicken. There you go. If I can construct it. Because uh, I don't need it because I have a zonkey. <laughs> oh, uh, the oh. Cadillac of vehicles, Margu. Uh, Copious, uh, you see that Robert got the jump on you. Rat farts uh, and has taken the dire wolf down. What do you want to do? I, I'm not an animal handler at all, so the idea of me even trying to catch this chicken seems pretty far fetched. Uh, but I'll follow behind on, uh, on the zonkey so I can keep it in line of sight. Um, well, you are you are smaller and driving the Cadillac of animals, so that is true. You, you will catch up to that thing next round. You are on a beautiful zonkey. I will, um, and mine's been mine has tattoos on it. It's, it's a lowrider. I put glowing tattoos on the underbelly of it. <laughs> oh, I, I hope you hit that ridge line just right. Otherwise, that fender is coming right off. You yeah, teach what, it to what kneel I call down it, and it actually bounce jumps up, up and down. down. Yeah, it bounces up and down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's her saw so, has been trained on my Zonkey it, already. It's oh. South Side LA. Now, awesome. <laughs> uh, Leaf, uh, you notice that your dreams of having a dire wolf cape are in the wind. Yeah. Uh, as Robert. Ta da! I'm going <laughs> to wave to Robert and go after the loose chicken. 
Okay, uh, White Copious, you will also catch up to it next round. Uh, Felix, you can bring that chicken down if you want. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm out. So three dead dire wolves, so I got nothing. Beep. Oh, but that leads us to Haggis. I'm sorry. Haggis, uh, you hear loud squawking. Uh, you have now wrangled your chicken, uh, but Manfang's chicken is rampaging towards you up the incline. Hmm. Uh, you also see that the rope is being dragged. Uh, there are several things you can do here, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. I'm going to see if you can come up with the idea yourself. So a, r- a rope is being dragged. From Manfang's chicken. Last okay. of the rope. Last of the rope. <laughs> I was really close to thinking that. But, um, <laughs> well, you only have one rope. <laughs> yeah. Great points. I could lasso that chicken's neck. Although so you still only have one rope, and I do. that that is being used. Use the other that use the other other end. Well, of the lasso that head. So it is is the chicken I've caught. It's it's hefty, right? It's it's a big boy. It's it's a girl. It's a yeah. girl. Yeah. Big. <laughs> it's strong to it's move. It could, <laughs> it could move my um, zonky if it if it, it cannot. Your zonky is going to be strong enough because it has four legs. Chicken only has two and claws. So your zonky, Cadillac of vehicles, uh, can probably <laughs> manhandle that chicken if needed. Okay, perfect. So I'll tie the rope to the zonky. There's what I was looking for. And then okay. I'm going to stand up on my zonky to get... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were going so well there for a moment. This is where you lose two chickens and one zonky. But... <laughs> okay. Go ahead, so Cossack. <laughs> I'll get. I'll, um, I'll jump and get to killing the other chicken people. and it wrangle it. You're killing two birds with one haggis. So I'll give you dexterity to stand on your zonky. <laughs> and then I'll give you acrobatics to leap at the chicken and or the rope. Of, uh, Perfect. Perfect. So give me, give me your dexterity first as you glide up there. Okay, 17 for dexterity. This guy is on it, okay? Oh, he, wait, until, he, wait until you see acrobatics. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Now are you jumping at the chicken or the rope? Oh. Because the rope's pretty long. Well, then I don't have to do big. animal hangling again if I do Oh, you'll have chicken. to do that if you can catch it. Okay. Then I'll, then I'll go to the chicken. I'll go to the chicken. Sure. Acrobatics, so gonna, right? So, so you're coming off the top rope, and you're tackling the chicken. Yeah. And Close you've got your folding chair ready. Okay. Go Close ahead and give me your chicken. acrobatics roll. <laughs> awesome. Because I, like, I, I love acrobatics. I got 27. Roll one. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, huge. You you grapple it, but of course <laughs> you are a halfling. So oh, sure. Hang it on for dear life. Uh, you've caught it. Now give me your animal handling to see how uh, how well you communicate with this thing. One. Fourteen, not a one. Uh, it it kind of drags you a short distance, uh, but since you're choking off its airway, uh, it has to slow down. Uh, Copious and Leaf, you guys are in hot pursuit, uh, and it seems as though the chicken wrangler is Haggis. Because yell over Copious, what the hell is he doing with that chicken? What choking it? (laughs) (laughs) There, I fell for that one. (laughs) Thank you for taking the pressure off of Alex. (laughs) Felix has been straining at the lead there. I I, I, I think Jason has cut through his, his. his hand biting, <laughs> biting it off. Uh, so, uh, Haggis, Chicken Wrangler, uh, Chicken George, uh, one's attached to a zonkey and the other is attached to him. So, there you I go. Should, right, I, should right attach, I should attach this chicken. I just got to my zonkey as well, so I have more chickens. Twice the speed. No, you need a chariot driven um, by giant chickens. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's, like that's, a, that. that's a brilliant <laughs> idea. We could have archers yeah. on it and everything. A dog cart <laughs> attached to a giant chicken. Yeah. We, we could have, have like a mobile tower and then just the chickens and the like, zonkeys pulling so, it. So Leaf's uh, potential cloak uh, is not going to work. You can get a headband. Be, uh, uh-huh. yeah. That's fine. Kill shot for two right here. you got to earn that. 
So Copius and Robert, if you wish to skin your dire wolf, I'll need an animal handling. They're rangy little creatures, 15 or better. Uh, you can go ahead and carve that Does up. Robert still get advantage on animal on skinning because he did so well the last several times? But like the past four times, I 20 those skin jobs. I'll give him plus two. Okay. Because that just means he's due to choke. <laughs> I rolled a 19. Easy peasy, man. You cut that thing open like cheese. Yeah, without the two, is only a 17. So. <laughs> That's still, all you needed was a 15. So uh, Robert has gotten kill number one skinned. I uh, am going to make a special wrist guard out of the sphincter of the one that's kind of blown up <laughs> for Felix. So it's going to look like a hair scrunchie? Yeah. <laughs> Why it feet? stretches though, so he can go around his wrist. At least eight inches. At least. I, I think raccoons are bigger than that, but okay. Copious. Uh, Thank you. What What do you want to do with your rangy creature? I, I, I need it skin, but I'm going to ask Robert if he'll skin it. My animals. Nineteen again. Well, he does it. Uh, Thank you, Robert. Uh, nice, nice dire wolf. Uh, Things almost the size of a zonky, so you know it's, it's a just, good shape. Gonna, part of it's going to be underneath my saddle for the zonky. Part of it's going to be a, a poncho for me. It's going to be great. So Most like mine was, extra, mine was just to make a saddle for my chicken. Well, right. like, now that chicken's not going to enjoy that scent very much. <laughs> you can wash it out, uh, Manfang. As you come running up, it's all right. I spread a little magic shop scents. Oh, very nice. Nice, all nice, over it. nice plug for the uh, sponsor. <laughs> uh, Haggis, you're like Biff Tannen after he shoots Marty. <laughs> uh, you have wrangled yourself two chickens and not lost your zonkies. So, so far, hey, it's, it's hey, early. Are you for, give one of them any, to Manfang, or are they both yours? Um, can I have a, are there any pieces of the wolf left? <laughs> Uh, there is uh, the one that Robert blasted. There's now there there's meat, but it's rangy meat. But uh, there's there's it's all stringy. There. Yeah, it's like a bad pot roast. Hey, hey, huh. what are you looking for here? I don't know. I kind of want like a not, not a cape, but still like a little. You wanted little a mini fur, skirt? little want, fur on the shoulder. You want a roth to put around your leathers? I just want a little I, leathers. I'll take, on the do the navy thing. You can you can be an admiral. I'll, yeah. take, I'll take the nut sack, clean it off, and make him a cod piece out of it. Uh, let's see if they were males. Uh, 15, 19, 14. One of them was a male. Two females. I, I made you a female. cod piece. I guess I'll, there's got to be some scrap fur here. I'll, I'll, I'll cut you off a piece of mine. I have plenty of material off mine. I'm smaller than Haggis. <laughs> So I give you a little bit of rough if you want a bola. So we have two people that need chickens, but we have one bola? extra chicken. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. You so captured should, it; it's yours. So we should kill it, right? Or, or keep it. Or, or keep it, it, drag it with you, and have it lay eggs. But it's slower than a donkey, which is the Cadillac. Well, we're not <laughs> running at full speed. <laughs> Hey, moron! There's two others on zonk or on chickens riding, so we're going to go no faster. If, if we get into trouble, you just let the rope go and let whatever's chasing us eat it. That's smart. We could make, we make could, it a pack chicken. We, yeah, we could really, we could decorate it in like, you know, something that a lot of people would view as a sacrifice chicken if we want to really what? donate it. Like an, to like an emerald medallion on its forehead? We don't know if we were going to find it. That. A you can armor chicken. it. <laughs> I want my chicken to look like that because that looks awesome. Not that, no. Yeah, two eighties on I'm, I'm not gonna go into the uh like War statistics, chicken. but if we could kind of put a cannon on one of these chickens, just like that. Like a small cannon. Turbo cannon, yeah. Yeah. A ballista. That's yeah. let's get something more realistic. So I'm oh, thinking if, I'm, let's I'm put thinking a bunch that. of like gunpowder on the outside of one chicken and throw it in. So exploding chicken. Yeah, yeah. a suicide or suicide chicken. Oh, and uh what's it? What are they from? And is is chicken? Is is? I'm not saying. Nice. Is is? Get it? 
Is oh, this? ISIS chicken? I wasn't going to say ISIS. Terrorist was... chicken? Terrorist <laughs> chicken. And now the, now now the stream's been disabled. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I that's right like, I pushed it over the edge. I, I said is is. I Not said is is. You said ISIS. Because that's what oh, you whispered in my ear. I'll they, keep they my heard ISIS chicken. and blow up and now <laughs> everything's <laughs> over. It's, it's <laughs> uh, that black helicopter out there. <laughs> 221 episodes <laughs> right in the crapper. <laughs> Hope you like your t-shirts, not collectors, right? They're not collectibles. We're going out of business scale at our business. <laughs> so, you guys have collected the chickens, Haggis? Are you going to turn one over to Man Fang? I have Since... two chickens. That's all I know. Yeah. Well, one of them has his rope around it. So I like my rope. rope. I now chicken. have two ropes, too. I don't... <laughs> I will come and collect my chicken. I would kill the chickens before I leave. Play what? Them. Five coin pieces and you get your chicken back. Here, how about I take my chicken and the rope and leave? There or I could kill here's the five chicken. coin pieces you can give him. All right, here's five coin pieces. How about They're six? the wooden ones, just so you know. <laughs> They're the wooden ones. That I'm the ma talking. magic coins. Magic yeah. coins. They're magic. These are the light, airy coins. <laughs> I mean, he, he has a, I mean, he's the smart one here. They got a natural hit. twenty on that deception roll. There you go. That you got it. You got a nat twenty it to uh, even tie. I don't even Wait, think I can. Just, just to clarify, though, did Manfang give him the coin? Say here are the fake coins. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. no, no. <laughs> we know what his intelligence is. So yeah, probably. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Pretty yeah. sure I heard you say it. Here, take the fake coin. Uh, 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 but I came back and deceptively said, those aren't the fake ones. Those are in my pocket. These are real ones. So, Leaf and Felix. Uh, Felix, you just, watch this unfold. Could I neuter the chicken before I give it to Manfang? They're all women. They're, They're women. Males, so. No. Yeah, go ahead and neuter it. Let me know what you whack off there. <laughs> Aha! You <laughs> fell for that one. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Felix is, boys all talking about whacking. <laughs> Felix and Leaf, what, what do you want to do as these four go back and forth? I'm well, heading for the copious, end. So. I'll, 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 I'll meet you guys down at the end. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. Uh, uh, right yeah, right these... Everybody roll perception checks. 16. Uh, Perception. 25. 23. Perception plus 3. 15. Uh, Robert, Felix, Leaf, there are birds circling. Uh, and with that roll, uh, go ahead and give me an arcana check. Doesn't have to be real high. 15. Um, 18. 7. That's fine. Uh, that's a little low. Uh, Robert and Leaf, uh, those look like, uh, what do you call them? They're uh, chicken hawks. Uh, that's <laughs> even better. There's the one F bomb. Sorry. I blew the F bomb already. Great. Uh, after after, after, after the one. ISIS comment, I, I think. <laughs> I don't think I know. Is after the ISIS. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think we can now be nude on TV because uh, the stream's probably we're already cut off. Yeah, yeah. The FBI's already cut off like every, every <laughs> we're on the we have. Didn't I see that black band drive by already? Yeah, <laughs> the, the one that says homemade <laughs> cookies. Yeah. So uh, there seems to be some chicken hawks in the air. Uh, there are no more dire wolves. And Leaf, uh, Copius, and Felix, you can make it up onto the ridge and back onto the road. Unfortunately, you're not alone on the road. There are four cloaked individuals there who are rather surprised at your sudden appearance. Meanwhile, Robert, Manfang, and Haggis are still arguing over the ownership of said animals. Uh, Leaf, Felix, and Copius the individuals look like clerical individuals. So now you got chicken hawks and clerics. Can we recognize any? Uh, you said they look like clerics. Do we recognize any symbols on on their person? <laughs> I will take a religion check. <coughs> religion is what? What is a religion? 
My religion, religion is mercantilism. Seven. Fifteen. That's about what I rolled. Uh, Leaf, you notice that they have a moon uh, symbol sigil on their sleeves, uh, but it's not a full moon. Uh, it's a quarter moon. Waning quarter moon. It could be quarter elanthropophies. Somebody, somebody's got word of the day. Don't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's five syllables and more. Good job, uh, <laughs> Robert Manfang and Haggis. As you crest the ridge, you notice your three associates are kind of mutually squared off with four individuals in clerical robes because nobody said anything. I'll say, uh, have I'll we say, been noticed? You're like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Leave what are you going to ask him? <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to hail them. The hell's it going? They nod silently. Uh, don't get a real friendly vibe from them. You do. All right. Have we been noticed yet? We, oh, yeah. You guys, you guys are... Blah, 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 okay. up the ridge. Yeah, uh, the universe, dead people know you three are wandering around arguing about the chickens. Well, when <laughs> we got to the top of the ridge and zero. Haggis made his comment, my computer <laughs> connection slowed way down, so it went, Would you like some chicken? Uh, it freaked us out. Which is probably how he said it in his but, head. The FBI probably did that. <laughs> let the guy just laugh in. We're not <laughs> being listened to. Yeah, they they, they, they want to make sure you don't... Wait right a minute. The FBI, time. not the... That was Homeland Security. They're now tagged into us. <laughs> and sure, PETA, because we got the chickens here. And we're hey, doing mean things okay. to chickens, so PETA's on board. As long as we're getting viewers. That's the... <laughs> as long as we're making hey, money. Hate, hate, hate us all you want, just... Yeah, follow our sponsors. Follow hey, if you're sponsors. listening, could you get more people to log in? <laughs> I just We're, hope they don't find that cash down there by the river. <laughs> so, uh, Leaf, uh, you, Felix, and Copius notice these are the, well, probably average friendly to you guys, but uh, they do not appear very friendly at all. Are they right. Elvin again, like the other cult? Can't tell. They've got cowls over their face. I will wave at them like this. Maybe we should just walk by. Maybe I'm going to walk tavern. away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, fairly. Yeah. Good morning, fair cloak. One of them pulls back the cloak, and this guy is white as flour. And he's clearly an albino, skinned head, religious sigils tattooed to oh, his geez. head. Uh, looks like a moon and a star, maybe a lucky charm, four leaf clover, you know, stuff like that. But he- heavily tattooed human. Uh, okay, casting with no down. hair. <laughs> what kind of teeth has he got? That's what I want to know. Tell those incisors. <laughs> it's an albino. I want to ask him where his pot of gold is. Number one, but. Be Who nice. stole my lucky charms? I, I think I think you're looking for the red hair. Uh, I'm going to circle to a tree and tie off my chicken. Okay. And then circle behind them. Does this yeah, guy look it, like a neo? At Nazi? least, I, I, yes, I they're neo Nazi. I figured, you know. <laughs> yeah. I was, was <laughs> These are proud boys on the road. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're throwing in proud boys. More viewers. They're well, neo leprechauns. Yeah, black van circle. Neo leprechauns. Now you got pickup <laughs> trucks. Now I, got, now I got a black pickup truck driving by with a Trump rally sticker on the back. Uh, when it looks like a Brinks truck and guys hanging off the side, that's when your stream's going to get cut. Uh, I went ahead and put the dogs out back for when they break through the door. Uh, Robert, they're going at least one of them's going to keep an eye on you. Uh, that's the, fine. I'm just the bald-headed dude me. looks at me. Is, uh Felix uh, and says... Pull open my shirt a little bit, show my chest as he's staring says, at me. You got a real pretty <laughs> mouth there, boy. Ew. Ew. Stop it. Put your shirt Felix, uh, this guy's only going to talk to a human being. Uh, it's like I'm calling, human being? calling a robocaller. <laughs> <laughs> he's only going to talk to you because he shows uh, great derision towards everybody else in your uh, he doesn't even try to hide it. I will be overly I will be overly friendly to this one man 
as overly friendly as I can be. Told you it was a neo leprechaun. Yeah, I offer him a chicken. Uh, for some reason, you got uh, Manfang and Haggis. You guys sound. <laughs> oh no! Uh, there, there is, there is a. You started to hear him talk, Felix and Leaf and Copious, but then it just and you look over. <laughs> so silence. One of them is cast silence, fifteen foot radius. Uh, Copious, if you do this. We can still hear you. If you do this, you'll be caught in the radius. Uh, He's pretty weak. Greetings, fellow level-headed individual. Why are you in this group of individuals? Uh, Well, this group of individuals, we've been traveling the world. Felix has this odd, just cheery demeanor. It seems lost on him. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Do you have to frequently wash to be among these? I mean, certainly the elven individual was somewhat okay as a manservant, I suppose. But these little people and the hairy thing, uh, how can you stand the smell? I'm scaly. They didn't mention that. I'm scaly. The yeah. dragonborn's the worst one of all. Like they don't hey. even want to mention it. <laughs> they're they're thinking about skinning you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and like um, what was it? Runescape skin one of like my kind or something. Like if anybody will smell you, they'll come after you. I remember man, that. man, fang. That's any of them that look at you, look at you like huh, new boots. <laughs> <laughs> As though it makes some great snake boots. Yeah. So I'll tell them that uh, you get used to the smell and adventure sense <laughs> along the way. Boy, if only we were still online. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great plug. Yeah, we all thought it was going to go bad with the giant chicken jokes, but eh, it got worse. Just kept getting worse. <laughs> uh, I'll ask them where they're coming from <laughs> and where they're we're, headed. We are coming from the east, headed to the west. Thank you, walking compass. Could you be a little more specific? (laughs) I see your time with the runts of the litter has caused you to forget your manners. We are headed towards Raglan Tower. We have urgent business in the region. Ah, urgent business. We as well are headed in that direction. Perhaps we can walk together ahead of this rabble. I actually heard like the rear of the rabble. Ooh, almost blew it. Really? Like ripples. Yes. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure you should take credit for that, but okay. Oh, well, you know, if something pops out of the woods, I would like them to be eaten first. Ah, wise. Yes. Uh, what, what say you, elf? Are you talking to me? You're the elf, right? Yes, I am. Well, are you talking to me? Uh, yeah, are talking you talking to, to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. I He's think maybe the best thing for you and your buddies to do is move your bald ass head right on down the road. <laughs> just, just my feelings about it. We have three oh, more A words. You used one. I, I, I understand uh, Elvish humor is usually lost on me, but fairly well. We will continue to allow you and your animals and they all kind of look at man fang <laughs> uh, to continue along your merry way uh addressing felix uh we hope you and your manservant and your <laughs> rabble the best best of luck oh, well, thank you but now i think it's time you guys get the hell out and Felix I'm, says it's all smiley and sure. weirdly jolly. <clears throat> sure. Uh, I'm going to start dance battling right over here. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Um, <laughs> they continue to walk single file down the road. <laughs> okay, once we mount up, let's go faster than them so we drive past them. Oh, and our I'm going to tell, I'm gonna oh, tell yeah. the, rest of the, the rest of the party what the exchange was in that little cone of silence. The cone of shame? 
<laughs> You're still in the cone. I think we should go kill those people. <laughs> Thoughts? I mean, there's no so you. Uh, oh, I want to try the barbecue. Now I'm going to emphasize now. that they really couldn't stand the little gnome. Opius was fine. Hagus, ah, they're going to kill that guy. <laughs> I think we should go kill him. I think you should still tell us that it was the little gnome because that just makes me laugh. <laughs> well, <laughs> as, as, they move, as they move on, the silence spell drops and Manfang and Hagus test, test. Is this on? Is this on? <laughs> oh, okay. Now you can hear me. <laughs> so the brothers continue down the road. The other yeah, that's what I thought, boys! Yeah! What kind of spells do they have? <laughs> <laughs> I like to stir the pot. So, uh, Felix, now that the cones drop, Felix is saying, I think we should kill him. I'm yeah. going to go. Uh, are they heading the same direction we are? Yes. Yeah. All right, Felix, why are we killing them? Oh, didn't you see them? They're a bunch of Nazis. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell them. I'm surprised you didn't go with the German accent, Frank. Uh, gee, uh, uh, another demographic added to our yeah, list. Yeah, a bunch of... Uh, Murder right, hobo, right, you right, say? I like humans, the sound of yeah. that. <laughs> they just thought everybody was animals other than other than Felix, another human. We are heading to the tower! The tower of the tower! Hey. And they thought I that, that you know, copious. They thought you were Felix's boy toy. That was the only reason you were along. In <laughs> boy toy. That's I, a great one. Can uh, can any of us make a roll uh, for uh, insight to see if we get a sense for whether the, <laughs> we could even take them? Because I'm looking. I'm going. They seem very similar to the the sisters that we dealt with with Robert. They do and indeed. We I couldn't can, even touch him. I can make an insight roll. Sure, go ahead. I'll, I'll oh, wait. Me. Before before we continue, how why do you think I was only dance battling and not trying to kill somebody? Because I'm like, uh, last 20, one I left with roly rollers. 26. Uh, the leader, the one that kept referring to you, that damn spell is not in here. Uh, the leader uh, that called you manservant uh, seemed quite confident in the fact that even outnumbered six to four uh, and being astride giant chickens and strange looking zonkeys didn't give two shits about you. Um, take that any way you want it. But he gave off an air of arrogant confidence that uh, we don't scare him. I have a question. He, he doesn't give two shits about you guys. I have a question. I have a question. I will. Yeah. Question. What's your question? question? Are they in a range of 800 feet? Oh, yeah. Well, they're All at right. the top of a hill, and they're about to, because you're in undulating hill territory. Are you going right, to cool. cast a magic bolter? <laughs> yes. I'll pass that magic information bolter. on that yes, team magic on spell the that I don't have. copious and the rest of the party mm -hmm. that uh, the little bald-headed Nazi oh, leader <laughs> didn't seem to give a shit about the rest of us and wasn't concerned with what we could or could not do. Now, whether that means he was... That strong, or just the arrogance that went along with his bigotry? Have to be either one. He has to find out. In the back. See what happens. You go, go sneak it. attack, crap sting. Attack ninja, ninja style. No, it's see what happens. It's, it's attack ninja. It's stealth. I mean, that's kind of high. That's pretty high. Ooh, let's let's wrap some ex explosives on the chicken and send it down. Yeah, perfect, do perfect. Isis chicken. Uh, since this is fantasy land, that would be C two. <laughs> you don't have C4 yet. <laughs> you also have preparation C, and it is not recommended that you use it at all. <laughs> Topical use only. That's right. Uh, Do not ingest. <laughs> maybe we so, should uh, give out the chickens and make our way to the tavern. I think, uh, Felix, our best bet is to get to uh, the Smidgen's uh, Roadhouse as quickly as possible because we're still on Ageas to get taken care mm -hmm. of. Yeah. We're not to the roadhouse yet, and we don't know where the tower ruins we're trying to find are. Yeah, we don't have time to really, de we don't have time for any more detours. Well, okay. more, more yeah. than that, I'm worried that if they beat the hell out of us, or even kill us. If or what if they're going to the same place we're going? Well, that's just it. They very well may be going to the exact same tower we're trying to get to, because that's how this crap tends to go down. 
So let's get there before them, take care of our business before they arrive. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's head for Smidgen. Yeah, let's go. Turn Roll off. out. Sounds Worst good case scenario, if they're at Smidgen's Roadhouse, we may have to poison, poison them before we leave. Autobots. Hey, there's a thought. Autobots. Roll out. Uh, All right, let's ride hard to Smidges. Yeah, Kellax. Hey, you mount up, you get that that cloud of dust coming in behind so that Pooping you can... all over the place. Yeah, bacon at mall. Who's, who's leading the pack? I can. Haggis. I will. <laughs> Haggis. Well, Haggis, you still have a chicken and a zonkey. So I have a chicken and a zonkey. So I'm going to that fast. So uh, leave. you charge ahead, spurned on uh, by your Cadillac of mounts, uh, yes. and, and you crest the hill, and you don't see them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see the the road winding around. Not a lot of trees here. Looks fairly open. And the clerics are gone. We were just... It doesn't take that long to mount up, and they were just going over, so they're gone. I'm going to stop, raise my hand, bring it... Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) hell yeah. I say, what? I'm going to tell them. I said, what do you see? Now, hang on a second. Uh, Leaf does the perfunctory hold... We have two new writers here. Give me animal hands. Also, I'm very stupid, so I don't know what that means. 19. <laughs> Does that mean go faster? Does that mean floor it? Pull the horn? No, you know what that means. Do you know if you can stop your mount? All right. I'll, you have to I'll... straight wrap your hands around the chicken's neck, Frankie. Make it slow. Slow down. Whoa, chicken. Whoa. <laughs> 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 chicken. It's, what you it's, got? It's, eight. it's an eight. It's an eight. Flavor home. Odd even. Uh, odd. Uh, Leaf, you do the hold. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Man Fang goes off the trail to the left, up and down the grass. Uh, he's still hanging on for dear life, uh, but he finally gets a hold of the chicken. And he kind of trots it back up to you guys <laughs> as all of you are on Zonkeys and one chicken. Zonkeys, the Cadillac of rides. The Cadillac of uh, transportation. What about chicken? A Yugo of rides? Uh, it's more of an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you it's can always eat it. I'm going to steal the hubcaps off all these freaking Cadillacs over here. It, it's a Prius on low battery. Exactly. It's a Prius. Uh, <laughs> guys, if, look, where did they go? The clerics are gone. They probably teleported just like those sisters did. I ain't got time for that. You know how hard it is to ride this stupid thing? All right, let's move on out then. Let's yeah, don't yeah, stop. Yeah, Robert has two issues in riding this thing. Because <laughs> it it does this, and that's not conducive for this so much as it is for this. Uh, well, there's no danger on the road. Uh, as night begins to fall on day two, uh, cresting in the west on a, a slight rise uh, appears to be uh, any of you guys seen Day of the or Dawn of the Dead? Yep. Yeah. That that's the kind of building it is. It's like a big end. Okay. Uh, big neon sign. <laughs> big neon sign. <laughs> Home of the rooster. Uh, and it says uh, Smidge's Roadhouse BBQ. Uh, as you pull in, uh, you notice, uh, let's see how many you notice. Do we see a bunch of other chickens tied up out front? <laughs> you see five carts uh, and five ponies or horses. Uh, joints jumping. Uh, you do not see any giant chickens because. Holy shit! Where a zonkey is a Cadillac. Uh, this, uh, you know what? What's a what's a rare car? Uh, DeLorean. You have the DeLorean of transportation in the form of three chickens, because because uh-uh. the, the, the doors open like this, like wings. <laughs> <laughs> so you have three DeLoreans and four Cadillacs. Uh, we are pimping. You, you see. One halfling urinating on the side of the building Hell yeah. while, while drinking. Now that's some dexterity right there. Yeah. Um, he appears to be writing his name and it looks like it's going to be Thaddeus Dominion Overman because uh, he is peeing a lot. Uh, he's peeing 
Front doors right there. Uh, music is just pouring out of this place. Uh, it's two stories in an L, so you can surmise this isn't some tiny roadhouse. Uh, this is uh, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, whatever that movie was. Uh, it's uh, going to be an inn, and uh, you do the dawn. Not, you do not see stables. So no stables. So, uh, you, you can talk to Thaddeus, or you can move on. I'll talk to Thaddeus. I'll ask him, is there a stable here? Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Kind of. Ours is freaking out. Yeah, I'm getting static I'm getting... all of a sudden. Yeah. 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 We're not getting static. We're getting slow down. Like, I don't know if it's my connection or what. Well, now it seems okay, right? Yeah. 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 Kind of. So, you have the peeing halfling, or you can go yeah. inside. Oh, I asked a halfling uh, if there's stables here. There's stables here. Uh, he sloshes his ale at you and points. Let's see if he hits you. Uh, 19 on the roll. He sloshes ale all over. Is he pointing at something? Down on a low spot is a long building. Your computer. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to head down to. I want. I, I want to take head down to the stables first. I want to get my uh, donkey secured. All right, we're off to do that. There are there are three porters uh, waiting there like their valets. Okay. I'll tell. As, I want to secure my donkey. Oh no! They're uh, before you can even say anything. Their jaws go slack. They have never seen anything like this. And by the time they finally compose themselves, one of them's like, "Are you guys like, like big shot adventurers or something?" Yeah. Yes, we are. None throughout the world for our saving. We saved a town once, and the whole one. Have you ever heard of the Cadillac? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> this Cadillac of Zonkei. So, so who wants to deal with the valets? Somebody with some deception skills. That's not me. <laughs> yeah, not me either. All right. That, hey, that maybe. Copious, 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 oh, copious will try to deal with the... Seven in persuasion. <laughs> so, okay. Copious... Yeah, uh, so we yeah, of course. Haven't you heard of us? And of course, he's going to start saying, "I'm copious volt bitters, the third, the the one that the songs are written on. The bards sing about me all over this continent. Maybe you've heard of our beer. Sing you it, know, Felix. 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 Here comes the king. Here comes the king. Here comes number one. Catchy. Never heard of you, but that's catchy. Well, you'll hear of you'll hear of me and my band of adventurers. Now, the copious is going to lay it on thick like he does every time. Never gets him into trouble. Sure. Yeah, never. Never once. Do you need a deception roll to see how well this is going over? Persuasion or deception, either one. Uh, 23. Wow. Uh, well, I don't know who you are, but that tune is hauntingly beautiful. <laughs> you should hear it. When a polka band is behind me, <laughs> as luck would have it, uh, John Candy's magnificent cretins are inside performing, uh, and they have something called a tuba. Uh, I bet that would sound awesome on that. Exactly what we need to punctuate each yeah. verse. Yeah, John Candy I'm and the cretins. I'm shutting down my computer. I ain't listening to this shit anymore. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to jail with the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> They've already installed the uh, slowdown. Uh, so uh, they're a little bit curious as to whether or not your mounts will be receptive to them handling it because uh, they had a guy come in on an ox one day and there used to be four of us. Was it blue? Uh, no, uh, it said stop, go on its buttocks, though. Uh, and now Mongo had to pay for the burial of our, our friend. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, so uh, are, are, are your mounts dangerous? 
No, they no. are extremely, they will obey whatever we tell them. So as long as we say it's okay to go with you, the mounts will, will follow your instruction with a little gentle persuasion. However, if something happens to our mounts, they, they do carry a curse and you will, your testicles will shrivel up to nothing and you will die within seven days Whoa. if something happens to any of our mounts. And I'll say that's that no, more no. nothing than a halfling's normal nothing. And for that, I rolled a 20 on the deception. Dexterity, it, it's only in some of us. Like, you can't even... All, all, all three of them grab themselves for protective purposes. Uh, there we go. Sirs, we, 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 we will not let you down. Uh, but... There's a shiny silver peak in this for each of you. If no, no, it's going to be a little bit more than that because of the exotic nature. Oh, don't worry. I got these magical gold coins. Those were silver. They were copper. Remember? Copper. Oh. Wait a minute. I thought he. I thought. No, no, they're copper them. coins, but they're magical for you know, gambling. The Haggis. Yeah, man. Gave them. those the Haggis. Yeah. Uh, did that work? Oh, okay. I just gave him this chicken anyway. Now I have five it, copper he's gonna, coins. So we've got four and three, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, 27 gold pieces. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you stroking them all night long and whispering sweet nothings in their ear? What's That seems very excessive. 21 gold pieces. Are these well, three half are you Just stroking them. The communication just got a little better, but you're still breaking up. How about 15 and I throw in a gem? A priceless gem. Because I have five. A gem, you say? Yeah, fifteen gold pieces and a priceless gem. I found five. How about hey? How about just how, the priceless gem? How about eighteen in the priceless gem? Well, then how about eighteen coins? I could break the gem up for you. I mean, half a gem if you want that. Eighteen gold and the gem, or twenty gold. Twenty gold. Copious, right. pay the man. <laughs> 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 see, you see what happens when you give him a little bit of power on a ship? He just fit in your seat. I'm gonna show him my mount. The one you see this, you see this the stylistic runes underneath they're glowing blue and alternating blue and green underneath the belly. I hear a womp womp. Mount. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's four gold to take care of mine. These suckers can pay for their own. <laughs> Fair enough. We, I'll we pay will for take, mine. And they, they gently take a hold of the reins and kind of move it off because uh, they're a little bit skittish because I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper loud enough so that they can hear I've got now now terror don't eat them they're gonna take care of you uh your zonky turns around and looks at you quizzically but it can't talk so and you've already intimidated it's also not the terror, so. it says, okay, uh, and Wilbur. they uh <laughs> And move it off, uh, Leaf. They will take your zonky yep. as well. I'll pay them. How much are you paying them? I'll pay them the same. Oh, I'll give four gold. Take care of my zonky. Looks like four gold is the going rate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I need four from Felix, four from Robert, four from Man. Four oh, well, that's for zonky. And eight. For Haggis. <laughs> what? I have a lesser. I don't drive a Cadillac here. I'm not paying four gold. I'm paying at least three. I'll do two gold. Oh, four gold. I'm driving the Yugo. I pay two gold. I got a. I got three, so I'll take three for the chickens. Four for you call them Cadillacs. The Cadillac of the mount. Yeah, if, if that's the number one mount, I'll, I'll do two gold because this is not a Cadillac. <laughs> Then you, sir, will take care of your not Cadillac. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give the guy. He's driving a neon. He's trying. He's trying the neon with the busted front window. <laughs> so I, I give him six gold. The four for my uh, zonkey and the two for the chicken. That's awesome, but you still need one gold, my friend. Okay. How about so seven gold? Four and three. Okay, seven gold. Done. I'll pay four, four, I gave I gave the man three gold for my chicken. Okay, so Robert, it's up to you. Now I'm sitting <laughs> here. <laughs> I 
Looks like we're yeah, go on in. I'll meet. I'll catch up with you. Fair enough for me. I'm gonna head into the. No, I won't go to the kill them because those zonkeys will get stolen. <laughs> okay, no, and they no, aren't low jacked yet. So, uh, Haggis is going in. Uh, yep. Robert is hanging out. Where's everybody else going? I'm going in. I'm going inside. I'm gonna go in and remind the boys as we leave. Now remember, the last people that tried to steal our zonkey. Their testicles, and it was painful the entire time. Understood, sir. See you guys later. <laughs> I have the chickens. They'll pluck your eyes out, and I'm gonna head indoors. My zonkey, uh, you do anything to that, and I hope you like <laughs> STD. I hope you like being like killed. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper to Felix as we walk. The health away class you guys <laughs> have is horrible. <laughs> I'm a whisperer yeah, to Felix as we walk. Dark. Wait, no, I don't think we crushed their balls. I think we set fire to the whole town and killed everybody, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't because they messed with our zonkeys. That. That was they're more, they they're more concerned of their testicles. They tried to steal our zonkeys. That's what started the whole fiasco on the ship. I assume these are young men. That's why they're working as, uh, they, yeah, they're more concerned with their testicles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Halfling dexterity. So I want to head into the end. I, I mean, we need to so, get information. Everybody went into the end. I'll walk yeah. up to the guys. I'm going to hand them 10 gold and say, here's the three for my chicken. And here's the seven for you to stain on the back of that albino bitch over there. <laughs> Man thing was here. That's all I'm asking. Seven gold just to put some stain that will last a couple weeks. That's it, boys. Other than that. And a couple handprints on its back. Now I'm going to walk in. Give him the 10 gold. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give me a pencil. It's well worth the payment. <laughs> so, uh, Robert, you got, I see Robert moving. Copious hasn't gone in yet because he doesn't trust Robert. <laughs> yeah, why, you why, should why, never why, trust why? Robert. Robert's his own man. Copious will go in. As, as I like the way he's <laughs> trying to throw Man Fang under the bus. Yeah, yeah you nice, jerk. Nice, nice, nice touch. <laughs> Uh, and it, I think the albino yeah, which first. Don't look really and see Manning Fang's face and then look at that zonkey and go, ooh. Yeah. You, you've just forgotten one thing on that, though, because the diminutive handprints of a halfling will oh. clearly not match Man <laughs> uh, But Buttercup is going to be a little bit stainy looking. Uh, you guys open the front door. And this is mean that, or some kind of Western saloon. There? there is everything <laughs> in there. The the clear, crystal clear sound of a roulette wheel. Oh yeah. And dice can clearly be heard. The smell of this place is old ale vomit, blood, and putrid sewers from Adventure Sense. Ah, there's another <laughs> plug. <laughs> uh, and powder normally associated with ladies Lord, no. of the evening. Uh, there are athletes, <laughs> there are gnomes, there are humans. Uh, you know what? Is there a half-orc? Uh, there are no half orcs, uh, but this place is Sorry, I don't the like room with travelers. A lot of people are in merchant out, outfit. Uh, some are Davy Crockett's, uh, clearly adventurers. Uh, the ladies are uh, performing their wares admirably. Uh, the male uh, bordello members are performing their assets uh, appropriately as well. We do, yeah, we do, Felix. We don't sexualize this. It, it, it's it's a free for all. There are uh, there is so much going on. It's like walking into a pawn shop and feeling just the overwhelming sensory uh, blast right in your face. Uh, but clearly, there's drinking, dancing, gambling, whoring, and business going on. Felix. Yeah. I'm going to immediately say we'll never get Felix out of this place. Felix was, is going to grab Craft Stain <laughs> and say, can you just slap me over the face right quick? I am pretty sure that I must have died on my walk. <laughs> to the a punch. punch him right in the forehead. Punch I him. I think I could. Huh. Well, this halfway, is a good... halfway human, 
<laughs> well, there's one thing you won't be doing tonight. Uh, no, that I've still I, I believe some of that he still has. Georgina. Yeah, I think he still has three packets of Georgina stuff. So I, I, I could cast one. sleep on you, and I don't know nope, how that lasts. No, nope, no, nope, don't do that. So I it's a die you. eight. It's a die eight. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna run away from you. So yeah. Uh, also, uh, there is a front desk for, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, banking. Uh, if you if you want to hold valuables in their secure area, uh, if you need to make any innkeeping arrangements for the night, uh, that is presumably where you do it. And the restaurant uh, is, is back there. Uh, it's pretty much a medieval truck stop. Uh, there's selling, there's buying, there's selling, uh, there's gambling, uh, there's food, there's sleeping arrangements. They This place even has a shower. I'm heading for the restaurant day. I wonder uh, if this place no, is involved. I want to, to the front desk, but is the band playing behind Chicken Wire? That's all I want to know. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, but it, I'm going to walk up to the bartender and say, I'm looking for a man named Dalton. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> uh, it, it is not a polka band yet. Uh, these guys look strangely out of place. They're wearing strange dark apparel and eye lenses that uh, hide their eyes. They Are might they be on a mission from deity. Oh yeah, they're singing. Stand, by, a song. stand by your hobgoblin. Stand by your stand by your goblin. <laughs> stand by your goblin. Okay, I got Give it. him um, to the front desk the bartender on. restaurant. Uh, Felix and Haggis and Manfang. Where do you Felix is going to go look at that bizarre wheel, the roulette wheel, okay. and go try to learn how that works. Sure. Uh, is there that. like a is there like an entire section like with ho a horse uh, not horse but like lady <laughs> they lady. are nice ladies. <laughs> they are very <laughs> nice. Work, working at staff is how they prefer Next to be called. Worker. That's right. Uh, yes, it's it. Have you ever been at a, a truck stop off the interstate? No, he has not been to a whorehouse, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this down straight. But there's billboards all the way in Georgia. <laughs> so if you've ever been in a truck stop off the interstate, a big one, a, a nice one, that is how it is. Everything is sectioned off accordingly. So if Felix goes to gamble, he is not going to be, he might be near the restaurant. He will not be in the restaurant. Everybody will be separated. Uh, and this building is not quite mall size, uh, but it's, it's, it's got every section is like a big room, but there's only half walls. And then it's got a second floor uh, where employees, uh, male and female work, uh, but it is open. The restaurant is over on this side. The bars on this side. The performance artists are in the middle, uh, and it, it's just kind of wide open, but half walls allow for a little bit of separation. You may or may not be able to keep an eye on each other uh, because joints hopping, man. This is the shit. Joints pumping. Yeah. So I've got front desk, bartender, restaurant, gambling, Manfang, and Haggis. Haggis, were you going to go with Felix or no? I don't, I don't think so. I want to go get myself a room. So you're going to the front desk. Okay. Uh, Haggis, where do you want to go? I'd like to get a room also. I got three for the front desk. So, Copious, sorry, you drew the short straw. You have Haggis and Manfang with you. Hey, I'm just going to be talking. I'm just going to be talking to Haggis. I think we should get that. I think we should get the pork or whatever it was. Was it the um, barbecue. barbecue? The barbecue, yeah. We should get that. Yeah. Yeah. We should get barbecue. that right now. Barbecue. We should get the barbecue. Let's get it right now. I'm, I would like to go get some barbecue. So you want to go with Leaf? Yeah. Can yeah, we'll go get some barbecue. Yeah. Copious gets leaf. the long straw. He doesn't have to deal <laughs> yeah, with Yeah, so I sequence. guess Copious switched straws, though, maybe with a slight of hand. Uh, unfortunately, you. Copious is stuck with me because I'm, I'm looking. Uh, oh, maybe he did oh. get the short straw. I, I thought you were going to the bartender to ask for Dalton. I was going to the front desk. I didn't know there was a bar. Do you want to go to the bar or the front desk? Front desk. He might be able to direct me, too. 
Robert and Copius, go ahead. Well, you're asking for Dalton. So I I'm looking for Dalton. Uh, Dalton was in here a little bit ago. Where did Dalton go? It, the innkeeper doesn't even look up. Dalton usually goes to the bar. Can I help you? I'm going to the bar. Okay. Bar's that way. What do you want? Looking for a room for the night. How many? Four, six, ten. You're already gone. One. One. I mean, do you have do you, but I need one. I have some traveling companions. Do you have uh, like four other rooms available? I'll have to check. <laughs> we'll do that because you don't know who you're in the presence of. You're in the presence of greatness. A legend. He's gonna start doing his copious spiel. This place is better for my being here. Uh, hang on, I'll go find the manager, Karen, and see if she can help Oh, him. oh you're getting a Karen. <laughs> you're Karen. in trouble now. Yeah. Because he's getting a Karen. He, he picks up the heavy tome. Uh, he, of course, is in a steel cage uh, with only a slight pass through, so you ain't breaking into that. Uh, he walks into a back room. Uh, through the window, you can see... Uh, you see vaguely femaleish form silhouetted. Uh, she appears to. She looks like face. Large Marge. That's right. Uh, the bartender uh, sees Rah! you come up, Robert, uh, and it is a gnome, and he has gold grill. He's got gold Ooh. teeth. Hey, how's it going? And he cannot close his lips because they're irritating him. How you doing? What can I get for you? Got a lot of a lot of libations for you. What you what we do? What I'd like to uh, let, get, let me get coffee and Dalton. Uh, Dal Dalton's not here right now. Where's Dalton? Why isn't the Dalton not here? Isn't he supposed uh, to be watching over this? I don't know. Dal Dalton is a ranger. Where'd he go? I don't know. He might be outside taking a, taking a, uh, taking a. You you want some lubricant for that? <laughs> Look, you're the third person to ask me that tonight. <laughs> These just irritate me. I just got them. Uh, so Dalton is not here. Dalton is a ranger. Dalton is a ranger. I'm telling you, if Dalton should have been a monk that can rip throats out. That would be somebody else. Uh, over to Cervante. <laughs> Leaf, uh, while you had high spirits initially, the constant peppering between your two associates is quickly <laughs> got on your nerve. Uh, there are small bistro tables. There are long tables. Uh, all of the tables seem to have gouges mm. in them uh, from various things. Uh, and you may even find a tooth embedded in the side of one of them. It's a little dicey. Uh, it is not your four star. You're not going to see it on uh... lifestyles of the rich and famous. Yeah. What's the what's the MTV crib system? Yelp. Yelp. What is it? Yelp. Dives no. and diners. No, it's uh... <laughs> diners, dives, and drive. It's, like it's like a tire place, Firestone or Goodwheel. It's not going to be that good. Uh, you see, it's kind of buffet style. Uh, so uh, oh, we're Vegas then. There's good a year. guy. There's a guy with a, a wheel of meat, <laughs> uh, like substance, yeah. and then there are fruits, vegetables, and uh, a variety of things. Leaf. It appears as though it's cafeteria style, so you can go in any direction that you want. I'm going to go hit the vegetables. Sure. I will go straight to the meat. I'm looking ask. for a man that may be in charge of this area of the restaurant. Just a, just a waiter. Just just anyone yeah. that looks like they have a little the bit of The head waiter from Ferris Bueller? Yeah, he's here. Okay. So <laughs> I'd like, I, I want Manfang like, to come with me. I'm he's, coming. He's, he, he's going to the meat section. I'm, I'm going, going to meet. order us the. I, see, I I'll go up to the waiter and say I'm I'm a type of guy that likes my meat, but I would like the meat like on a on a girl. So it's like you know when you eat sushi off of a naked girl. So like I want that, but with the fork. What what exactly <laughs> do you go to school for? <laughs> 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 
It didn't come from this section. That's all I'm saying. Hey, save school, so you, you can you can see the stroke in Jason right about. Oh, hang on, man! I gotta yell and get his grandma down here. Yeah, uh, you know the only thing that would be better is if Robert's daughter was here making the same comments, and you can just see the neck vent. Uh, Haggis, uh, we don't do that here, okay, sir. You may take your meal to your room and then call for. Hey. Said service. How do you do that? Hey, is it like is, a, a talk to Man Fang? He'll probably let you eat it all. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, is there a Mayo Taimori? Mayo Taimori. He was like some Mayo Taimori. Nice. Uh, and for a Japanese pervert. <laughs> oh, so, August. Uh, they do serve fresh fish, even though you're landlocked. Yeah. Uh, and if you wish to eat it off a human being or demi-human being, uh, there's Giuseppe in the corner. You <laughs> made upstairs. There's Helga over in the corner. She's waiting hey, for you. Helga said, no, fresh I, fish I, kind of explains no. why this place smells like the pink house. Getting. Man Fang, <laughs> the smell off the meat is amazing. And this guy is basting it with some kind of brownish, orangish fluid. And it, it just accelerates your nostrils and you and you you can kind of feel yourself start to drool a little bit and he just spins the wheel and just shaves it right off this big hole. I will go up to him, slam the table and go, where's the beef? It's pork. It's pork. Cool. Pork. It's still it's it's a conversion. Right it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Because <laughs> he has a very sharp knife. <laughs> ah. Ah. I'm going to spin it. You tell me when to stop. He takes the knife, sets oh, it on it, spins it, and just just a continuous carpet of meat is coming off. And he just keeps spinning it. Is this long pig? I'm gonna I'm gonna be like that one jerk at like um uh what's it oh, yeah. not Panera but like um, you're not gonna be able to afford this slice of meat. You better cut him off. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, stop. It, it's about a five pound sliced hunk of meat. Somebody How much will this cost? Boy, somebody's going to be making some constitution rolls. Ten. Ten gold? Yes. That chicken uh, might not have a yellow streak, but it's soon going to have a brown streak. All right. I'll pay him the ten. I'm paying the ten gold and say, what was that sauce you were basting the meat in? Uh, house sauce. Could I have some? Reaches down, says, say when. He has a little uh, porcelain pitcher or a ceramic Where pitcher. Where did he reach down into? Underneath the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, he covers Great. it. It looks cool. like a Manhattan minus the mashed potatoes. All right. I'll tell him to stop when it seems reasonable. I'll tell him to do this and like cover it, and then we're good. <clears throat> sure. He gives up. Uh, Felix... You come up to this giant wheel. It's a roulette wheel on its side. Uh, there are a lot of numbers on there. The it, wheel of fortune. It, it looks like it goes zero to 100. Uh, black, uh, red, and green. Uh, green, only two numbers. Double zero and zero one. But red and black, uh, the roulette table is right there. You can place your bets. Uh, there seems to be no table limit, and everybody around you looks shady. Price is wrong, Felix. The price is wrong. Unfortunately, I don't. I think Felix is just going to look at it and be like, "Wow, what a cool game!" and move on. Okay. The spell uh, from the uh, Sisters of the Silver Moon have disrupted the gambling itch in Felix. Sure. Uh, there are several tables playing cards, several tables playing dice. And several tables playing what appears to be some kind of guessing game. Which hand is it in? I, oh, I've been to that casino before. <laughs> Vegas is vacation. Freaking, uh, Vegas Vegas vacation. vacation. <laughs> Don't get cheap on me. Think, thinking of a number between one and ten. Four, six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since the gambling is not going to interest Felix, he's going to head, I guess, to the restaurant. Hey. Uh, Let's. When, when I get to the restaurant, I'm going to reflect and be like, that was weird. Why did yeah. that? How'd that happen? I don't get it. He's cursed. Oh. He's cursed. Oh, well. 
Uh, let's go ahead and call it there because there is several encounters in this location, as you can well imagine. Uh, and we will save that for next time. Man. Haggis, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I think your dad needs to talk to you after this show's over. No, I uh, think he's going to. <laughs> uh, little Frankie, what'd you think? Uh, little Frankie, your dad's definitely going to be talking to you. <laughs> I got the. I said the ISIS word. It's going great. Well, at least he had no clue what that word meant when he said it earlier. No, he didn't. That is, that is true. But and then I, I told him what it meant. And he's like, oh, well, at least it's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would never lie. Hey, when your dad said he was playing with his coin purse, and I, you could have said that was his endowment. How much money does he have in that? Two it's totally legitimate use of a word. Uh, that is true. That's there are true. several meanings. So yeah, but that's not what I would ever do. So. Yeah, what he meant was he's well endowed with good dice. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah, that's, right. You see that word? Yeah. Hey, if you if you're packing seven, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> it's it's not your fault that all these mines are in the, <laughs> the medical condition. Oh, oh, these mines. Uh, <laughs> this is recorded, by the way. Now, see, that's a well endowed dice box. Yeah, these yeah, dice. Yeah. <laughs> not, I'm not going to bite on that one. Uh, show you mine, Jason. What'd you think? <laughs> uh, Jason, what'd you my, think? My dice box has a nice wooden shape. It's, it's tough to beat hard wood. You ever get a splinter on that? I want a medicine tube for mine. My dice box is short, stubby, but very wide and girt and can hold big dice. I feel inadequate because my dice box is a little bad. Alright, that's all. Oh my god. All right, are we done tray. <laughs> all right, are we done comparing sizes? Yes, we are. Jason what's the thing. I like the, uh, the details in the adventure, uh, especially in the Dalton uh, <clears throat> Roy Rogers Center that we're at right now. I think that that will be interesting to see if we live through it. Oh, you'll probably live. <laughs> uh, I want to know if that's really a uh, man thing. I, I said, I wondered if it was long pig for a reason, because everybody's told us don't eat the barbecue. And the first thing everyone did was order the barbecue. Yeah, I, they don't listen. I, I, I'm used to that. So, uh, AJ, what'd you think? It, this is fun. I really like the truck stop center. I think that's great. I can't wait to see what waits for us inside. And my favorite part of the day was when Nicholas said, 20? All right. Copious pay the man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's he's quite used to being taken care of. <laughs> uh, Frank Senior, what you think? Uh, that's, that was fun, and I am really glad that we didn't end up fighting the clerks. I was kind of yet uh, ruining <laughs> that moment. We should kill. Yeah, we may have to again, but I, I didn't want to. I, I like the fact that you're all. Uh, Moving to conversation, shall we kill these guys? Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, they're walking off and gone. <laughs> yep, that's all right with me. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the tri generational slash Margu campaign. Thank you for joining us. Hope you didn't mind all the rooster jokes. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, <laughs> take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord if you want to buy our stuff. Uh, hit our store. We got a lot of weird stuff in there. Uh, Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for giving Man Fang at least a little boost on his rolls this time. And, of course, the adventure didn't stink, but we've offered a whole lot of sense that maybe Adventure Sense slash Oddfish Games could come up with, like, uh, hanging meat. <laughs> uh, not quite sure. Or stained chicken. Uh, kind of weird there as well. Most importantly, if you want to join us for a one-shot next Saturday uh, or the talk show on Tuesday and sit in and tell us what you think about it, uh, hit us up. Uh, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, and we'll get you on the show. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you. I hope the rest of your weekend goes well. Everybody, give them that big dating game kiss and use your dexterity. Right, Nicholas? <laughs> We're out of here, folks.